What up, YouTube? What is going on? And welcome back to Dante's Rant Room, where we talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. And I am your host, Dante, and we are back with another video. And as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again because your support keeps me and this channel going so make sure you do subscribe for more content so all right fam fellow degenerates it seems to me that the fights to end or at least minimize fan service in anime and manga is sadly still raging on and this time oh, no. the mutants of the internet have tried using the great ichiro oda the creator of One Piece as their weapon, because we all know that these people want to completely eradicate fan service from anime and manga. So they'll do whatever it takes. I'm sure we all know that, right? So this image has been floating around the internet. I found it in an anime group and I decided to post it here on my community tab because I refuse to believe that it was true. All right, so it says, uh, let me scroll down here real quick. It says, Ichiro Oda talks about how brah, brah, fan, uh, fan service can be. It says, in the SBS section of the latest physical volume of One Piece, Ichiro Oda was asked about his takes on fan service and why isn't there more indecent exposure from the women of One Piece? Well, it says, according to this right here, it says, Oda explained that he has been an avid manga reader since his childhood and has seen fan service featured in countless series over the years. He noted that much of the fan service in manga involves violating the female character's consent. <laughs> Bruh, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. By exposing her body without permission, which he believes is morally wrong. Oh my god. Goes on to say, although One Piece does feature some risque scenes, it stands apart from other series like uh, Fire Force and High School of the Dead, where the primary draw is the fan service of the female cast. Bruh, <laughs> this is so pathetic. This is pathetic. And the sad part is that there are people right now on Face Thoughts, Insta Thought, Tick Thought who legit believe this. They're not asking questions, they're not looking um, into it on Google to see what it actually may, may have said, what he may have actually really said. They're not doing any kind of research, they just believe it and they're sharing this all over the place. Now, when I posted this, I asked the same question, like, is this true? Because I wanted to know where someone answered the question. Big shout out to um, Golden Angel 1517 for sending me the real translation on Twitter. You, my friend, are awesome. But we're gonna go over here. We're gonna slide over to uh, Bounding Into Comics where it says what he actually does say. The title says, One Piece creator Ichiro Oda defends series fan service, having females show their sexuality and spiciness out of their own volition is a much needed revolution for the representation of heroines in manga. Now that sounds more like it. <laughs> this sounds more like, this is great. This is phenomenal. I'm gonna show you exactly what he said in detail. So make sure y'all don't go anywhere cause y'all want to share this. Make sure people see this so they can know exactly what the great Ichiro Oda had to say, defending his version of fan service, okay? Before I continue, Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. We talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. So make sure we get this page to 2K subscribers. Drop a like or a dislike. If you enjoy my videos, drop a comment to engage in conversation. Share this video. Follow me on Twitter. And let's jump right into it. So it says, 
Whether due to his refusal to, to change a character's gender in order to conform to Western identity politics or his tendency to hang on some story beats a bit too long, One Piece creator Ichiro Oda has a habit of regularly finding himself in the crosshairs of social media's more outrage addicted users. Now, to be fair, I have not been watching One Piece recently, but after this, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have to really get back into it. No lie. So, one particular sticking point amongst Oda's critics is the treatment of his series female characters, particularly in how he illustrates them. Thanks to his creative desire to draw many of his female characters, such as Nami, Robin, or Boa Hancock, as attractive and slightly sexualized, many have disingenuously accused the mangaka of viewing the fairer sex as nothing more than objects for men to ogle at. <laughs> because, of course, something is wrong with that. So, what if that was the case? Huh? So, what? Get over yourselves. Anywho. <laughs> Hilariously, in making these accusations, said critics display a seemingly willful ignorance towards existence of numerous other female One Piece characters who aren't drawn according to contemporary beauty standards, all notably very capable and plot important characters in their own right, including Dadon. Did I say that right? Let me know. <laughs> Shinobu. Um, whose transmission into an attractive woman did not happen until after she had helped the Straw Hats take down Kaido. And so on and so forth. Alright. It says, Yet despite the belief by many that Oda chooses to depict women of One Piece in this way in order to belittle their entire gender, the mangaka himself recently revealed that this could not be further from the truth. As translated by the founder of popular One Piece fansite library of Ohara on March 16th, Oda spoke to the matter of for, for the Q&A section of the series, recently released 105th volume. Let's get into it. So it says this. Uh, <laughs> it's great. Completely different from what the other one says. It says the reader asks, the question is meant seriously. One Piece often features shots where women show their chests, but it hardly ever has any underskirts, panty shots. Is there some reason or policy you have for why that is the case? Now, Oda goes on to say, Nah, it's just something I'm not interested in myself, lol. Ever since I was a child, there's been many manga that feature fan service scenes, but most of the time it's done against the consent or will of female characters. So I feel that having females show their sexuality out of their own volition, such as like with Happiness Punch, is a much needed revolution for the representation of heroines in manga. So he's not against fan service as he talks about happiness punch. Now I am not a One Piece watcher. So I was just like, what in God's name is happiness punch until I looked it up. And for those of you guys who don't know what it is, well, here it is. Now, that was Happiness Punch. <laughs> Pure fan service. Now, of course, we didn't see it, but I'm sure you guys get the gist of what happened behind the towel, right? He was sh she was showing off the tatas and the, you know, <laughs> you, know you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, um, I don't know if this was the um, gotcha moment that certain people were looking for, but this ain't it, man. This ain't it. If you're going to start spreading stuff around the internet, please don't <laughs> post something where he references happiness punch, where she gets, well, I'm going to assume nude behind the towel. <laughs> so, yeah, um, misinformation all over the internet. Now y'all know the truth. He is not against fan service. He actually does clearly, according to Happiness Punch, supports fan service in his own way. Now I like all forms of fan service. It is what it is. I don't care. But hey, is that what he wants to do? Sure, it is what it is. You feel me? <laughs> but anywho, um, 
what do you got thoughts about this we have cleared this up if anyone wants to doubt y'all just send them this video simple as that and you're done anyway <laughs> what are your thoughts about this drop them down below in the comment section if you're not subscribed make sure you do consider hitting the red subscribe button for more content like this in nerdy geek culture anime manga and gaming fan service ain't going anywhere it is what it is if you don't like fan service i suggest probably watching or reading something else that's all i got for this episode subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one peace